The Panasonic S5 just came out and because of the small footprint that camera has, I think that a lot of people are actually uh, thinking if it's gonna be any good for vlogging. And these are my thoughts after using it for three days. So I believe that a lot of people are looking at the Panasonic S5 as a viable uh, camera for vlogging. And when I say vlogging, I'm not only thinking about people who do their daily vlogs or want to document what they're doing in a day. I'm also talking about the people who maybe make videos uh, in a non-vlog way, but they want to be able to hold the camera in front of them and be able to get a great image out of that. So in my latest video on this channel where I was talking about five hidden gems about the Panasonic S5, I actually used the camera to do exactly that. So I held the camera as if I was going to vlog. So I held it in my hand just like a meter away from me and honestly uh, I was surprised about the results. So for the first thing I thought about was the weight. If you have used any of the Panasonic S-Line cameras you will uh, notice that this camera is much lighter and, and it's even lighter than the Panasonic GH5. And this is probably the main reason why I believe that a lot of Panasonic shooters will look at this camera as a camera that they can use as a vlogging camera, as a camera that they have in, the, in their home, as a camera they can bring with them in any situation. And together with that kit lens, the 20 to 60 lens that I really like, it will weigh around one kilo. So something that is very important when doing a vlog style video is how the exposure changes. And this is something that the Panasonic S5 does beautifully. You won't see the difference when you're going from lightness to darkness or you're going from one room to another. You will see that gradual change in exposure that is really nice. But of course, if you don't want to use any of the S and A settings on the camera or uh, use the auto ISO, you can of course go full manual, which also is really great. So another thing that vloggers and people who use a camera like this really appreciate is the IBIS. And the IBIS is very nice and I would say this is very close to the uh, IBIS on the S1H, the GH5, the S1 cameras. But it won't be gimbal-like and that's the thing to think about. Because it is a bigger sensor it's gonna be harder for the internal stabilization to take away all the jitters that you make with the camera. <laughs> Another reason why I believe this camera is going to be very viable for vloggers is going to be that kit lens. I think that uh, the 20 millimeter on the wide end is almost perfect for vlogging when you're using that IBIS also. Because if you look at other cameras and also the Panasonic S1H and the S1, we all know that those cameras warp a lot in the corners when you're using those ultra wide 16 millimeter lenses. So I think uh, the amount of wobbling that you get when you're using a 10 millimeter lens is actually quite acceptable. And and doesn't become distracting while you're making your video. And another reason why I believe that the Panasonic S5 is a great camera for vlogger, vloggers is gonna be the improvements in autofocus. And I know that a lot of reviewers have look at, looked at this camera and said that the autofocus isn't perfect and I'm also in that I don't think it's perfect because I could see some hunting at some times but if you look at my first video where I talk about the five hidden gems in the Panasonic S5, you will see that that footage is shot in total autofocus and you can see it the footage and judge for yourself. I didn't cut away any of the amounts where the autofocus started drifting, which I didn't see. And if you look at my friend Ted Verum's channel, he's making a video about, about the Konken bag that will come out next week. You will also see that I was using the camera in full autofocus, filming him and it didn't lose him once. I'm not saying that the autofocus is perfect, but I am saying that this is the first Lumix camera that I would use and rely on autofocus, even for vlogging, and that's an opinion that I will stand by. I also believe that one of the main reasons to why people are looking at this as an option for vlogging is also the price. You can look at the price of the camera with that kit lens, the 20 to 60, and see that it's gonna be half the price of the competitors and the S1H. So I believe that price factor is gonna be a huge deal.
And I also believe that if you're running around with the camera, of course, you maybe don't want to have a camera set up that is worth six or seven or eight thousand dollars. Whereas if you have a camera that is around two thousand dollars with that kit lens, you might take it with you more often. So guys, I would love to know if you're actually thinking about getting the Panasonic S5 as a vlogging setup camera or as a camera that you have in your home and you very easily can take with you. As I said, that 20 to 60 millimeter lens is such a killer lens that you get very cheap in a package. So if you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comments and please don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this about the Panasonic S5, about the Blackmagic cameras and other technical things. So until the next time, Thank you.